We're all familiar with the song, This Little Light of Mine. When we hear it, we may think of the light of Christ shining in us, shining out to this ever-darkening world. But the thought that I recently had was taking a candle out outside at noon on a sunny day. What benefit is that candle with a cloudless sky and the harsh sunlight? It won't keep you from stumbling over a rock or any other obstacle since they're all already clearly visible by the light of the sun. That tiny flame will not add anything to the light that's already there. To me, this represents life when all is well, and we may not even consider the fact that it's God who's providing that sunlight. But when the darkness of loss, hardship, conflict or come our way, suddenly this little light of mine is all we have. It's the only source of light that we, ha that we have available. That is, if we kept the flame burning, when we thought that we needed at least. The problem is that many in this world will neglect this little light of mine when all is well. We may lay it aside, misplace it, or simply allow it to blow out. Whatever the case may be, when those times of darkness return, we may find ourselves scrambling to God to relight that flame. In Bible times, there were no lighters or matches. Fire was hard to come by without a ready source at hand. And so we have no power to rekindle this little light of mine on our own. We can read of this same behavior in the Bible, and we have likely experienced it ourselves. That small spark of Jesus within us may not seem like much, yet God knows that this is all the light we need to get us safely through those apparently impossible situations. It's also likely that we can look back on our own lives and see those times in the past when it was only by God's grace that we were able to make it through. The tiny flame of a candle may not be much in the bright daylight of our contentment, but it's more than enough to light our way through those days of despair and the gloom of loss. It will guide each footstep towards solid ground until we see the light of day once again. 2 Peter 1.19, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do dwell, that ye take heed, ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. God has granted us the benefit of his light. Still, it remains our responsibility to guard that and cling to that light at all times, since we never know when we're going to need it most. Now it's up to us to go forward that the light that, with the light that God has for us. Jesus said in John 12, 46, I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. We're all bound to face darkness in the future if we continue in this life very long. God's light is the answer. We must keep that small flame burning at all times, especially when all is well, because sooner or later, we will experience darkness. If we allow the light of Christ to dwell in us, we won't have to abide or remain in that darkness, but we will simply be found passing through that darkness on our way to the land of eternal light.